Hey guys, guess what? Jinx merch is in. I'm sporting my first hoodie with Jinx's design on it. Your only limit is you is the quote I chose for it, Jinxy. And I made sure that the design was nice and teal like he is. Even though he's called a blue throated macaw, teal is his color. Boobs. Woo! <laughs> what did we say when your merch came in? Did we laugh or did we go, woo? <laughs> we did a little that, whatever that was. I've gotten a lot of questions about my blue throated macaw jinx, so I thought I would take a minute or a few minutes or however many minutes this video ends up being and answer some of your questions about Jinxie. Number one, how old is he and how old was he when I got you? <laughs> Woo! <laughs> As far as how old Jinx was when we got him, he was just a little babe. He was the cutest little fluff monster of the whole freaking universe. <sighs> I don't exactly remember how many months you were, but you were little. He was the cutest baby. I also thought you guys might like a video with Jinx on a more mellow day. This is him being mellow. Blue throats, as a species, I would say are a little more high strung <laughs> than your typical macaw species. As long as you don't include the militaries in there. They're also high strung. Um, but blue throats are very twitchy. They can be kind of a little bit more fast moving than your typical macaws, more easily heightened. But I would say militaries fit that bill as well. So that's why I get a lot of comments saying that he reminds people of a robot. When he gets super excited, he starts getting twitchy and robotic movements, which I can't do, obviously. And uh, that's more species specific. That's not just all macaws, that's these guys. Um, and it's actually what first made me want a blue throat and macaw is I met a friend of mine who had two and I fell in love with them. Originally, we wanted all blue throat macaws for free flight. We just thought that would be awesome. What if we had two or three blue throat and macaws? At the time that we got him, they were $2,500 each while our Camelot macaws were only $750. So we couldn't really justify spending that much money on macaws. So we went for two Camelots and we only got one blue throat and we did get all three of our macaws at the exact same time, but they came from different sources in Florida. But Jinx is from Florida. All right, I don't know how many questions I've already answered so far, so I'm gonna stop numbering them because I only numbered one and then answered like five. Has Jinx ever bit me hard? Have you ever bit me super duper hard? He has, and I will always remember it because it's only happened one time, uh, knock on wood. I don't have a scar from it or anything, and I think it mostly hurt my feelings. <laughs> I left him with a friend over the summer so he was initially okay, but kind of sta standoffish. And I should have read that, but I was so happy to see him that I just kind of thought, you can't be anything but happy to see me too. And that just wasn't the case. He needed a hot second to be like, I'm gonna punish you first. That was just a misread on my part because I let my emotion of wanting to see him and wanting to just like be back to our normal selves after this stint, which I thought, you know, I my perception was I'm doing something so nice for you. I'm putting you out at this place where you're gonna have fresh air and be able to be outside where the temperature is really nice. Whereas where I was staying, it was super hot. Um, and he just didn't have the same perception of the whole thing. So when I got him back, he bit me hard on the hand and it was once he was already on my hand, he, he bit. And I think it was because I don't fully remember, but I think I was probably trying to either pet him, maybe put him on his back, do something where it required a few more uh, pennies in the birdie bank account than I had put in recently. So I was trying to jump the gun and go back to our relationship just immediately. And he was like, yeah, we're not there yet. Oh, we're back to content. If I'm in a room all by myself and somebody walks in, will Jinx attack them? 
Nope. How did I choose Jinx over all the other little baby blue-throated macaws? I did not. It was never like that. Um, normally when you go to buy a bird, <laughs> you are not really, um, at least for me, I've never shown up to a bunch of little baby birds running around kind of like we would envision with puppies and picked one. That's, you just really want to be up. Um, that's just not how it worked for us. We wanted a blue throat, so we contacted Bell's Aviary in Florida, and we said we wanted one, and they reserved one for us, or she reserved one for us, because Catherine runs that solo. Um, but yeah, she reserved one for us, and then we just showed up to meet him, and then eventually we took <laughs> him home. But there was no sort of like picking him out of, of a clutch of birds or anything like that, so. Yeah, I don't think I could do that. I would be like, I will take them all. What is my favorite thing about Jinxy? When Jinx gets super lovey dovey dovey dovey, he sometimes will give me a little wing, baby wing flap. Hi, Jinxy. Uh, excuse me, wing comment. Obviously when macaws are babies, they do it all the time and it actually startles people and they feel like this bird has something wrong with it because it has this involuntary, like uncontrollable twitch or wing flap and it's just, it's adorable. It's a baby bird thing. Thanks for fixing my hair, Jinxie. What are Jinx's bad habits? Uh, one of them is playing with my hair. It's only bad if um, you don't like it and I find it endearing. That's the problem for me, is that a lot of really obnoxious behaviors that my birds do, I just find adorable and endearing, like this one. Favorite trick that Jinx does? Um, ah. <laughs> definitely the woo, when he goes woo! I love that, um, when he lays on his back, I love that. What's your nickname? Boo! What's your nickname? Boo! What's your nickname? Boo! 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 Can I kiss? Yes sir. 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 That's another favorite, but it's not on cue either. Is like you pat his head and go and he uh he does it sometimes back. Otherwise, he doesn't. It just makes me look lame. Bubs, you got anything to say? Nope. So he's normally a lot more talkative. You guys have seen him in other videos where he's just nuts. This is Jinx on a fairly mellow day. This is a mellow blue-throated macaw day, which I feel like is very rare, kind of like their species in the wild. Which, by the way, for a lot of you that comment about how um, endangered these guys are in the wild, that is very true. I think there's only been a max of about 400 of them left in the wild. However, in captivity, they are thriving, so if they ever needed to be re-released or, or bred to be released into the wild, they could do that successfully. However, there's just nowhere to release them. Um, unfortunately, the pet trade, people capture them. They are fighting over nesting sites and all the things, uh, habitat, so there's just, there's nowhere to release them. There's already barely enough space for the ones that are out there in the wild. And when we first got him, I have to say it wasn't, it wasn't like that. So it gradually got worse and worse and worse for them in the wild, for them to be endangered. And then eventually he was put on ESA, which is the Endangered Species Act. And uh, we stopped being able to travel with him internationally for shows. So it really affected us and I have to say, if we knew it was going that route, I'm not sure that we would have ever gotten a blue throat just because the restrictions are so intense. Um, however, it's just kind of going there for all, all species of parrots, to be honest. So I'm not sure that it's really something that you can avoid. However, I am glad that there's breeding programs and a lot of different bloodlines in captivity for them to do awesome if ever needing to be re-released into the wild. So there's that. I don't know if you would make a good boyfriend though. I mean, you're handsome enough, but your preening could use some work. It's a little rough. Why is he so cute, right? He isn't as cute when he's just chilling and mellow. He's more cute when he's his psycho self. 
um, at least to me. Again, I just find those crazy, obnoxious behaviors really endearing and adorable. But I think you might be ruining my hair. Favorite word or phrase that Jinx says? Uh, Dave would probably say when he says Jinxy because it sounds really funny. It's like Jinxy, Jinxy. It's like you have to know that he's saying it to understand him. Um, I love personally when he says, woo, that's my favorite. Uh, a lot of people that are new to Jinxy love his laugh, oh. but they usually think it's me. Um, yeah, and I think his favorite to say is Bubba, currently. Highest value treats. Last I checked, it was almonds, but he also is the type of bird in a training session to really read off of your energy and enthusiasm. So he is one of those birds that likes praise as well. Good job. Well, yeah, you did awesome. Jinxie. Good boy, bub. Good boy. Woo! <laughs> 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 He literally said woo while you, <laughs> while he rolled. And another high value treat has been me and just coming to me. So originally when we started flight training him, just coming to me was the, the reward. He just likes hanging out with me. Usually, not all the time. I mean, who would like it all the time? <laughs> Picking up my hair. Who is my most problematic <laughs> bird? <laughs> this is under my jinx question, so they must think it's you in which they would probably be correct. I mean, other than my toucan Rocco, who's just difficult because he's a toucan, uh, Jinx is my next most complicated case. Why did you choose Jinx's name? This was actually a brilliant move by Dave. We chose the name Jinx because we had watched my friends blue-throated macaws dive down and they would do what we call jinking, which is a pr um, predator avoidance technique where the bird actually flips upside down drops and then goes right back side up. Um, and it's to escape a predator. So if a predator is following on their tail really quick, they will literally drop out of the sky and keep going and be able to change directions or, or just kind of like lose the predator. Jinx is really, really good at this. It's super hard to capture on video, but I do have one of my recent flight videos that shows it uh, with Tango, the blue and gold, right before he goes out of sight. It's beautiful. So if you didn't see my last Moab free flight trip, go ahead and check those videos out. Um, and you can see that. And Jinx is notorious for jinking. So that's how he got his name. Hello. Hello. <laughs> that's actually Comet or Tusa's voice. I couldn't tell which one. <laughs> Did you guys hear that? Uh, one of the things that Jinx does, it's a characteristic that is an annoyingly bad habit, is, but it's not that bad. I mean, most birds would bite. He actually just hits you with his beak like you saw him do when I went to take him off my shoulder. Or sometimes he'll just like hit you with his beak or he'll grab your finger and move it, but it is nicer than biting. So that covers all your questions that you guys asked me about Jinxie, my blue-throated macaw. If you have more questions that you didn't hear the answers to in this, please leave me a comment below. Let me know what it is. And I will try to make sure I answer that in a future whoa, video. <laughs> Like maybe what spooks them. <laughs> um, also, if you like this video, please don't forget to give it a thumbs up and pass it along to your bird loving friends. Thanks so much guys. Talk to you later. Mm -hmm.